in the previous class uh, we have seen what are the different uh, uh, formulas that we are going to use for uh, settling velocity right uh, if uh, it is completely dependent upon uh, the particle size that is it is completely dependent upon the diameter of the particle harshita please mute your phone mute your phone So here it is completely dependent upon uh, the diameter of the particle. So here, V s is equal to right the settling velocity. If uh, first case we are going to have, if the particle is less than 0.1 mm in dia, right, the settling velocity will be given by 1 divided by 18 divided by g divided by v into s s minus 1 into d square. Where g is nothing but the acceleration due to gravity, right? Where g is nothing but the acceleration due to gravity, then we are going to have v is equal to kinematic viscosity, right? We are going to have v is equal to kinematic viscosity, which is 0 0.009 centimeter square per second at 25 degrees Celsius. So this will be the standard value what we are going to utilize at 25 degrees Celsius. T is equal to diameter in mm. D is nothing but the diameter in mm and SS is equal to the specific gravity. So this formula, right, we are going to use when the particle size is less than 0.1 mm in diameter. Then we will be utilizing the formula particle greater than 0.1 mm and till 1 mm, right, greater than 0.1 mm up to 1 mm right we will be utilizing this particular formula right so it is vs is equal to 418 into ss minus 1 into d square into 3 into t plus 70 divided by 100 where t is nothing but it is temperature in degree celsius t is nothing but the temperature which is in degree celsius so this is the formula we are going to use when the particle is greater than 0.1 mm, right? It is the formula that we are going to use. It is in between the particle is greater than 0.1 mm up till 1 mm. So this is the formula what we are going to use. Then we are going to see what is the drag velocity, right? What is the drag velocity, right? So drag velocity is calculated by right using the formula square root that is vd is equal to 8 beta into g divided by f into ss minus 1 into d where beta is nothing but it is uh, the constant for it is 0 0.04 it is for sand and 0 0.06 for the sticky material then f is equal to 0 0.025 to 0 0.03 it is nothing but F is nothing but the Darcy dispatch factor, friction factor that we are going to use, utilize. Okay. So now relation between the drag velocity and the settling velocity can be given by VD is equal to Vs into 8 divided by F into to the power 1 by 2. To the power 1 by 2. So this is what the formula that we are going to utilize for in order to solve the problems. Now, in this problem, what will be asked is either they are going to ask you to determine what is the diameter of the particle and what is the settling velocity of the particle. So, such type of a question you are going to get in your exams. Okay, such type of a questions you are going to get in your exams. Okay, now if the particles greater than point uh, this is what the formulas we are going to use. Now we, have, we will see for the first problem, right? We will see the first problem. Okay. Now, it is, in this problem, what is asked is find the settling velocity, that is Vs, of a spherical silica particle of specific gravity 2.67 in water at 25 degrees Celsius if the diameter of the particle is 0 0.004 centimeters. Okay, now they are they have asked you to determine Vs, right? They are asked you to determine uh, Vs, right? They have asked you to determine. Now here, 
specific gravity s is given to you and temperature is given to you and the diameter is given to you after reading through this problem the first thing what you need to give more importance in the problem is you need to give more importance to the diameter because settling velocity and all you can calculate it based upon your formula right you are going to calculate it based upon your formula so first uh, you need to determine first you need to find out what is the diameter in which category it is going to fall so here first thing is it is 0 0.04 cm okay it is 0 0.004 cm now whatever i have told you the formula it is in terms of mm so first we need to convert it into mm so i think you know 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so here if you want to convert it d is equal to 0 0.004 into 10 if you multiply it by 10 we are going to get it d is equal to 0 0.04 mm okay now here what is the condition if the particle is less than 0 0.1 mm now this is the particle which is less than 1 mm so it is 0 0.04 mm so it lies it is having the particle less than 0 0.1 mm so we will be utilizing the first formula it is this formula we are going to utilize so we will be utilizing this formula Vs is equal to G divided by 18 into SS minus 1 into D square divided by V. Now, as I have told, V is equal to kinematic viscosity is equal to 0 0.009 centimeter square per second, right? And this acceleration due to gravity is in terms of meter per second square, right? So, if I convert this G is equal to 9.81 into meter into the centimeter, one meter is equal to is going to have 100 centimeters so 9.81 if i multiply it with 100 i will be getting this in terms of centimeter okay so 981 divided by 18 into ss ss is 2.61 which is already sorry it is a 2.67 right it is a 2.67 minus 1 into d square d is here i have written in mm but at the end i have taken this particular in centimeter so I will be taking it as in terms of centimeters only. So 0 0.004 square, right? G is 981 divided by 18. SS is 2.61 minus 1 into D square is 0 0.004 square divided by V. V is how much? V is 0 0.009. Okay. So it is in terms of centimeters square per second. So here we are at the end. We are going to get, right? We are going to get centimeter per second. Here we are going to get at the end, the settling velocity is 0 0.0162 centimeter per second. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. So can I go to the next problem? Yes, sir. Okay. So next problem is very similar, similar to this only. Just uh, I wanted to uh, solve one more problem out of this. So that is the reason why I have uh, I have uh, solved one more problem similar to this. Find the settling velocity of a spherical silica particle of a specific gravity 2.67, right? In water at 25 degrees Celsius, if the diameter of the particle is 0 0.04 centimeter, right? Now here. Just again, we what what we want we want to find out the settling velocity of the particle. Just we have changed the particle size, and then we are going to find out the settling velocity of the particle. Now, what I have told in the previous uh, problem, I have told when such kind of a problem you are going to get, you need to see out the diameter of the particle. So here, the diameter of the particle is 0 0.04 centimeter. If I want to convert into mm i will just multiply it with the 10 then i have got the particle size in terms of mm that is 0.4 centimeter now which is greater than 0.1 mm okay which is greater than 0.1 mm so i will be utilizing this particular formula right in order to solve that problem so it is vs is equal to 418 into ss minus 1 into d square right into 3t plus 70 divided by 100 Okay, so again, 418 
into SS is 2.67, which is given in the problem, minus 1, right? As I have told, I, I am uh, utilizing this in terms of here mm, right? 0.4 mm, right? Here 3 into 25 plus 70 divided by 100. 25 is nothing but your temperature. Here temperature is given at 25 degrees Celsius. So T represents your temperature in degree Celsius plus 70 divided by 100. So I will be getting the Vs value as 161.9 mm per second. If I convert it into the centimeter, it is 16.19 centimeter per second. So this is what your settling velocity is. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So I'll go to the next problem. Determine the maximum displacement velocity or the drag velocity without fear of settled particle to be lifted up and the ratio of the length to depth. Now, length to depth is nothing but your VD divided by Vs only. Right? Uh, now, unit for the following particles are right the specific gravity by using alum right we are going to get the specific gravity of for alum is 1.1 and the diameter of the particle is 0.1 centimeter right the diameter of the particle is 0.1 centimeter and for the anthracite coal we are going to have the specific gravity as 1.5 and diameter as 0 0.01 centimeter now darcy wisbach factor they have given it in the problem that is f is equal to 0 0.025 and temperature at 20 degrees celsius now what we need to find out is we need to find out vd right so vd i have told that it is going to have the relation vd is equal to vs into 8 by f by 1 by 2 so what they have asked is what is the displacement velocity for alum and for the anthracite and they have also asked you to determine what is the ratio of the length to depth. Okay. Length to depth ratio they have asked. Now, VD divided by Vs is, is also equal to L by D. Okay. Now, here for alum, we are going to have the particle size that is D is equal to 0.1 centimeter. If I multiply it, it, it by 10, I will be getting it as a 1 mm. Specific gravity, I will be, they have given it as 1.1. So, what is the relation between VD and VS? VD is divided by VS is equal to 8 by F, 1 by 2. F is already given to you in the problem. So, VD and VS is, right, if I simplify it, I will be getting VD is equal to 17.89 into VS. Now, here, for a particle, right, D is equal to 1 mm. So, I will be utilizing, right, up till 1 mm, I can utilize this particular formula. So here, right, so here I will be utilizing the formula, right, is equal to 418 into SS minus 1 into D square, right, into 3T plus 70 divided by 100, okay. So here SS is, they have given in the problem, SS is 1.1, right, so 1.1 minus one into d square d square is one mm okay i will be keeping my answer in mm so three into t ss it should be 1.1 right so it is three into t is t is nothing but it is at 20 degrees celsius so i'll be keeping it at 20 plus 70 if i must simplify it i'll be getting an answer of 54.34 into in mm per second if i want in centimeter i will be just multiplying i will be just dividing it by 10 okay uh, so, I will be getting in terms of centimeters. Okay. So, this is we have determined the settling velocity for other side. Now, what we want to determine? We want to determine the settling your displacement velocity. So, displacement velocity, what is the relation? Vd is equal to 17.89 into Vs we have got. So, just I multiply Vs, I will be just keeping Vd is equal to 17.89 into Vs. So, I will be getting the answer as, right, 97.2 centimeter per second, okay. So, this is what the displacement velocity for the alum or the fluke that we have got. Now, we need to find out the displacement velocity for the anthracite coal. So, anthracite coal, right, 
here for anthracite right we are utilizing this formula vd is equal to right vd is equal to 8 beta into g divided by f into ss minus 1 into d which is been already told to you right so this formula we are going to use right now we will be utilizing right 8 into beta beta is already given to you it is 0 0.025 then g is 981 okay it is in the centimeters divided by 0 0.025 1.5 is your specific gravity minus 1. D is nothing but your diameter. It is in also in centimeters since we have kept a G in terms of centimeters. So I will also keep this in terms of centimeter only. Okay. So if I simplify it, I will be getting VD as 7.92 centimeter per second. So since I have kept this in centimeter, at the end also, I will be utilizing this particular formula. So, VD is equal to 7.92 centimeter per second. Now, Vs, I can determine it by using the formula, right? I will be utilizing the formula Vs, right? Vs is equal to 418 into SS minus 1, where D is nothing but your 0.1, right? 0.1. This is, I have again converted into in terms of mm, right? So, SS minus 1.1 into mm. So, it is 2.717. So, L by H, VD to VS, this is your L by H. If I said VD by VS is nothing but your length to height or length to depth relationship. 7.92, I have got it for VD and VS, I have got it for 2.717. So, I will be getting the answer if this is in terms of centimeter, this is also I have converted into centimeter. So, if I convert this into centimeter, I will be keeping it as 0.2717, right? I will be getting an answer of 29.15, okay? So, this is what the length to depth relationship. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Is it clear to others? Only one voice. Yes, sir. Over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, fine. Sir. So we have left out with the last problem, right? Uh, on these particular problems, right? We have left with the last uh, type of a problem, right? In the last problems, the settling velocity, displacement velocity has been asked, right? Now in this particular problem. Right, you will be asked to find out the diameter of the particle. Right, in this problem, right, you have been asked to determine the diameter of the particle. Now, we will read the problem. Right, now find the diameter of the particle with the specific gravity of 2.65 to be removed from a tank having, right having the surface area of 250 right 250 square meters and treating 8 million liters of water per day 8 mld of water has to be treated per day right with having assume the temperature at 26 degrees celsius now we need to find out the diameter of the particle with having the specific gravity 2.65 has to be removed from a tank of specific area 250 square meters and a treating which is going to treat this particular area will be treating around 8 million liters of water per day assume the temperature is 26 degree celsius so now first we need to find out what is overflow rate okay so if we find out the overflow rate right if we find out the overflow rate right Overflow rate, we are going to be utilizing the formula water to be treated, the quantity divided by surface area, right? Overflow rate is nothing but the quantity or divided by surface area. Now, what is the quantity of water? This is 8 million. 8 million is nothing but 8 into 10 to the power 6, right? Now, here, 1 liter is equal to, right? 1000 liter is equal to, right? It is 1 meter cube. 1000 liters is equal to, I'll just write it in the paint.
sorry 1000 liters is equal to 1 meter cube Yes. Now, what I am doing it over here, I am converting this 8 median liter into meter cube. So, here, what is meter cube? Now, 1 meter cube, if I want it, right, If what I am doing now, I am converting this liter to into meter cube. So, what I will be doing is, I will be just dividing it, right, by 1000. Okay, so I will be getting into 10 to the power minus 3, right? I am converting this liter into meter cube, 8 million liters. Okay, I will be converting into meter cube. Liter to meter cube, if I want to convert, I will be doing it 10 to the power minus 3 into meter cube divided by what is the surface area? Surface area I am going to have is 250, right? Surface area is 250 right here per day right per day i am going to, to convert it into per hour so one day is going to have 24 hours so 250 multiplied by 24 hour so what i will be remaining with i will be getting if i simplify it i will be getting an answer of 1.33 meter cube per meter square hour okay so this is what i will be getting the answer of overflow rate right now the settling velocity now this particular thing, if I solve it, I will be getting meter per, if I want to convert it into per second, right? So, one hour is going to have 60 minutes. Each minute is going to have 60 seconds. So, settling velocity, if I, if I want in seconds, so 1.33 divided by 60 into 60, okay? So, again, if I want a meter in terms of centimeter, right? One meter is equal to, is going to have 100 centimeters. So, multiply it by 100 divided by 60 into 60. So, I will be getting this settling velocity into right, 0 0.037 centimeter per second. Okay. 0 0.037 centimeter per second. Okay. From the Stokes law, what is the diameter of the particle now? Diameter of the particle is, right, we need to find it out. So, here we, we have got the settling velocity Vs. So, we will since the settling velocity, right, it is 0 0.037, we will assume that, right, we will assume that the particle will be, uh, we will be utilizing this particular formula that is Vs is equal to 418 into SS minus 1, right, into d square, right, into d square into 3t plus 70 divided by 100. Since here they have given the temperature, right, since here they have given the temperature, we are going to utilize this particular formula. The temperature is given. So, we are, that is the reason why uh, we are, will be utilizing this particular formula in order to solve the problem. So, here Vs is equal to 418 into SS minus 1 into d square 3t plus 70 divided by 100. So, Vs, we already know it. It is 0.037. So, 0.037 into 418 into SS is 2.65 minus 1, right, into D square. This is what we need to find out. Into 3 into T is 26 degrees Celsius. So, C, uh, T is 26 plus 70 divided by 100, okay. So, D, we are going to get it as 0 0.019 mm. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, in today's class, uh, we have solved the different types of a problem uh, to find out based upon the diameter of the particle. We have found out the settling velocity as well as we have found out our diameter of the particle if the diameter is not given. So, settling velocity and the diameter we have found out and also we have seen 
what is the relationship between the settling velocity and the drag velocity is it clear yes sir you have any kind of a doubt or it was bit fast was it fast no sir no sir okay so we have completed one set of a problem in the next session there is an one more uh, thing that we need we have to cover uh, regarding the design right like a length breadth and the depth of your sedimentation tank we are going to find out and uh, tomorrow's class we are also going to see what is coagulation sedimentation right and uh, what are how we need to have the coagulation sedimentation if we finish that your uh, module 2 will be get over probably uh by mondays or by tuesdays session or wednesday session your module 2 will be got over right module 2 will be got over probably by uh, the your when by the tuesday the tuesday or wednesday your module 2 will be completely it is going to be get finished okay do you have any doubt in this no sir no sir fine So we will take the attendance, right? We will take the attendance. If anybody is having any kind of a doubt, they can ask me, right? They can ask me in between. Write your names and uh, this thing in your uh, chat box. Tuti, Tuti, Srinivas, Biradar, Burgale, Akash, Tarki, Apeksha. अरविंद अरुण अरुण कुमार दर्शन दयानंद गणेश गोसिया गुरुप्रसाद हर्षित हर्षिता इंद्रजीत जुनेद सर कार्तिक कैंपना यस सर सर कार्तिक प्रेजेंस लोकेश मल्लेश मल्लिकार्जुन बजंतरी मनोज तळवाई मुत्तू फ्रेंड सर अभिषेक अबू बकर आदर्श आकाश शता अमृत अनुश्री बसवराज अनगंडी भाग्यश्री प्रेजेंट सर भारता प्रेजेंट सर भावना
कितना दानिश दर्शन विश्वनाथ मनोजी गायत्री गायत्री प्रसन्न सर सर गुमटेश यस सर हरीश हरमलकर यस सर यस सर इर्षाद प्रेजेंट सर काजल यस सर कलंगुटकर लक्ष्मी मानसी मुर्गेश नक्षत्र यस सर नमोकार नंदिता यस सर नेहाल यस सर निखिल रत्तंग ओंकार पवन प्रज्वल ओके सर हरीश प्रेजेंट हम्म प्राइस तो ना हम्म हरीश सर मैक बंद नोडल सर 